Question 13, circle the prime numbers from the list below. Now, a reminder about prime numbers. Prime numbers are numbers that are exactly two different factors. So exactly two different factors. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the factors of all these numbers. Now, every um, number is what you can make it by doing one times by itself. So one is one times one. 2 is 1 times 2, 3 is 1 times 3, 4, 1 times 4, 1 times 5, 1 times 6, 1 times 7. Now, there is a reason why I'm doing this math. Is you'll see in a minute, 1 times 9, 1 times 10, 1 times 11. Now, if the only pair of factors is 1 times by itself, that means it's going to be a prime number, with the exception of 1, because... Um, this number one here, the only way of making it is one times one, but that's the same number twice. It hasn't got, and we did say it's got to be two different factors, whereas this is two factors which are both the same. So it's it's actually only got one factor, one different factor. So one is definitely not prime. So let's, and that's a common mistake. Let's rule that one out straight away. Now for all the other numbers, if there's anything else that times these together to make that number, that means it's not prime. So as soon as we find another way of making that number, it's not going to be prime. So let's just list the other ways now. So is there anything, any other way of making a two? Can't think of one. Any other way of making a three? Can't think of one. Well, four, I could do two times two, which straight away means that four is not prime. Six, I can do two times three. Straight away means that six is not prime. Eight, I can do two times four, which means that eight's not prime. You notice that with the even numbers bigger than two, you can do two times by something. So 10 is even number. It's going to be two times five. So that's not prime. Now, you might think you've found all the prime numbers now, but there is actually one left that we can cross off that's not prime. So it's the number nine. So nine is also in the three times table. So that's three times three. So nine can go as well. Now, the ones we've got left are, in fact, the prime numbers you should double check that there's no other way of making them so there's no other way of making the two other than one times two no other way of making the three other than one times three no other way of making the five other than one times five no other way of making the seven other than one times seven and no other way of making the eleven other than one times eleven so those are the prime numbers two three five seven and 11 and it's a good idea to remember those the next one would actually be 13 if if you wanted to know what the next one was